Sharers, I have something very important to show you. Say hello to your maker, Papa Traoris. <laughs> Dan here from the Diamond Minecraft and welcome to another Minecraft Mod Showcase where today we're taking a look at the awesome Mob Armors mod which adds in a ton of new armor sets that are designed to beef up your powers within Minecraft but also make you look like amazing Minecraft mobs as well. It's a very cool mod so let's take a look. So Grim, let's go on into the testing chamber where we've got every single mob armor here and also some really cool weapons as well and thanks to the Bibli craft mod we can display them absolutely beautifully i'll put a link to that mod in the description below as well so let's get started because there's so many of these and we're going to start off with the zombie armor so this is where you get you get a zombie helmet which looks like a zombie head and then the chest plate the jeans and the boots as well and when you have that fully on look at you like a chunky zombie a really chunky beefy zombie who's been to the gym a lot and what you get with these armors are lots of different buffs so you don't get different powers or anything just yet that's what the the swords and stuff are for but you do get some different buffs so with the zombie one you get night vision and i'm just gonna pop into game mode zero and show you how much armor they all give you and this one gives you a full bar of armor which is really really cool and i think being able to look like other mobs is really cool because instead of just having your skin and then armor over the top it's a really nice change to just be able to look super Super cool, as well as be super powerful as well. So let's go on to the skeletons. You get the, the head, the chest plate, the leggings, and the feet as well. And you will get, look at that. I'm invisible, as well as looking as another beefy, beefy mob. Look at that. Have these mobs all been to the gym or something? I think they have. So let's have a look here. We've got night vision, speed, and invisibility so that you can see through the rib cage and stuff. So you can see in the dark, and you can also run super fast, which is awesome. Well, faster than normal anyway, because without this, it would take you a lot longer to run across the length of the testing chamber. Right then, on to his slightly darker cousin, which is the Wither Skeleton. Now, the Wither Skeleton is one of my favorite looking mobs, and is one of my favorite looking armors as well look at this look how cool it looks it looks slightly less beefy because it's kind of altered the textures to make you look a little bit skinnier but this one will give you speed fire resistance and invisibility so almost the same as the skeleton but you get fire resistance instead which is cool very nice indeed i really like this mod it's a nice and simple one but it's also very nice indeed now this has got to be one of my favorite armors look at this the villager one and let's see what buffs we get from this guy we get speed three Haste 3 and Jump Boost 2. This villager is OP. Look how OP this villager is. You can jump quite high. You can run really, really fast. And this villager has definitely been to the gym. And he's been working out and everything. Because look how fast he could run. It's incredible. What an awesome armor. And you can even go one step further and get to the zombie villager right here. Let's put this one on before we go to the enderman. And let's see what we look like. Yes, <laughs> we look very, very cool. I like this one a lot. We got Night Vision 2, Speed 2, Haste 3, and Strength 2. And for those of you that don't know what Haste is, because it doesn't come up that much, it's basically a way to mine faster. So as you can see here, look how fast my hand is moving. That is insane. So I can mine this iron block with my hand very, very quickly. So you can like mine obsidian faster, but you can also just mine like a bad boy with your arm, just flailing around like crazy, which is awesome. So this one is possibly even better than the traditional villager over here right then next we have the enderman so if we pop all of these on we look really cool a nice little chippy chunky enderman and we get out that why did that hurt me that was so weird so we get health boost so look how many hearts we can have we have double the amount of hearts right down here that's awesome we also get jump boost three and night vision for an unlimited amount of time very cool indeed i like this one all of these are really cool and just as a note they don't all have um recipes at the moment but he's gonna update the mod soon so they all have recipes so you can get these in survival as well look how many hearts i've got oh man i've got so many hearts i've got like oh no i've got two full heart bars so i've got 20 hearts in it's gone it's gone um so it's only when you wear the armor but you get 20 hearts in total that is amazing right then onto this one which i think looked really really cool and this is the iron golem <gasps> look at how many hearts i have 
Is that 50 hearts? I think that's 50 hearts. So we get slowness because iron golems are pretty heavy and their nose is pretty heavy as well. Health boost for five seconds, jump boost two and water breathing two as well. So a very cool one. You look very beefy indeed. You're a little bit slower as norm than normal, which is a little bit upsetting, but look how many hearts you have. It is crazy. Now let's put this back and see if it starts regenerating. There we go. Look. I'm regenerating up my 50 hearts. Right then, onto the blaze one, which is really cool as well. And this one will give you night vision, jump boost, and fire resistance. And I like this. It's cool to see a blaze without all the rods flying around you, but it'd be really cool if that could be a feature in the future, even with the blaze flying. That's that's a recommended feature as well. Right then, onto his cousin, the nether cousin, the zombie pig man. And we'll just put this bright pink armor on, but it doesn't look like that. You look like a little pig man. And if you're holding a golden sword, you could fool even the best of pig mans, I think. And this will give you fire resistance too. Two, speed 2 and night vision 2 as well very cool indeed now we move on to a very special armor now from a very special mob it's the ender dragon check this out you get the tail you get the legs the wings and oh my goodness it just looks so good so let's pop this on and oh man oh man look at us we look so cool and look at all of those hearts I can't even count them those. That's got to be at least 60 hearts, maybe even 70, maybe even 80. But you get speed, health boost, strength 4, jump boost, fire resistance 2, and invisibility. Absolutely amazing. Look how high I can jump. That is so cool. This has got to be the most overpowered armor in the world so far. But this one right here is said to be a very special armor, and it is the Steve armor. So let's pop this on. We've got the boots, the jeans, the classic turquoise or teal chest plate, and also Steve's head. Now this, you get speed two, another health boost, strength and jump boost too. So that's actually pretty cool as well. Little chunky Steve over here. He is a very good special armor too. But I think out of all of them, I think this one is the most powerful. So what we're going to do is take off the Steve armor, and we're going to put on the Ender Dragon armor. And now we're going to look at some of these weapons because we're going to be fighting some of the mobs that are added in this mod as well. And they are super powerful. So we need to choose a sword. So next up, we have the first one, the Iron Smacker. Now this one will do plus 12 damage. Whoa, that, that's a lot of damage. It's just like a, a giant, uh, what would you even call this? Like a, a giant axe or something like that? I think it's a giant axe. Let's pop all of these off, actually, and then we'll um, look at them all at the same time, shall we? Let's just pick them all up. So, we've got the Iron Smacker, which is 12. The Ender Dragon Slasher, not back 8, which is crazy. They're going to go absolutely flying, and it's plus 5. Steve's Diamond Sword, which is more powerful than a normal sword, because that's Unbreaking 2 and Power 1, and then plus 7 attack damage. The Flesh Cutter is pretty good as well. A plus 7 attack damage, Smite 1, Power 1, and Knockback 4. We then have the Pigman's Golden Sword, 8.25 attack damage, which is pretty good. Knockback 2 and Sharpness 1, with a sword with plus 4 damage. The Blaze Slasher with Knockback 5 and Looting 3, and that is pretty much it. Oh, and as an extra weapon, we have this bad boy right here, which is Steve's Diamond Pig. Pickaxe, Unbreaking 2, and Efficiency 1. So some very, very cool items here, and I think I'm going to choose the Iron Smacker. So let's put the rest of these back in these pedestals here, and we are going to fight some mobs. Now, as you can see, I'm in survival mode, but I think we could be onto a good one. So let's just go through here and take a look at the mobs. We have the Zombie Overlord, Pigman King, Villager Guard, Iron Hulk, Zombie Villager Overlord, and Witch King. They all sound absolutely terrifying. So we're going to go outside could we jump over the wall there we go Look, we jumped straight over the wall so we have an escape plan if these get a bit out of control so let's go first for the zombie overlord now i'm not sure if he is going to burn in the daylight or not but here he is how are you doing bob the <laughs> bob the zombie overlord how much health do you have i think he has a <gasps> oh my goodness did i just do that i just did that with the iron smacker that's amazing Look how high that smacks him in the air. Ow. Oh, no. Oh, no. He poisoned you. He poisoned you pretty badly. Let me eat my chicken, Bob. Let me eat my chicken, please. I'm going to see if I can chop him down. This is going to take a while. I might need to go and grab another sword. How much health do you have? Not too much because we killed him, but he almost killed us with an insane poison attack. That was madness. So we need to heal up a little bit. So let's go and grab another sword, which you can jump over the wall for. And let's grab... Which one was this one a good one? The Ender Dragon Slayer. That was a little bit weak. We also got... Um, let's, let's use Steve Diamond Sword, because I think it will be a little bit more normal than the, um, the one that smacks him in the air, which is very cool. But up next, the Pigman King. Here he is. Who is it? What's his name? What's his name? 
His name is Jack. Hey, Jack. How, how are you doing, Jack? I, I don't want to um cause any harm to you. Well, that's a bit of a lie. Let's, let's use Steve's diamond sword. Because he's... Ow, he hurts me a lot. But this this armor is really overpowered. He's flying me in the air using his amazing pig man sword, which we can use as well. This is awesome. But I've got you. I've got you, Jack. And I killed you. And I think they will drop their weapons as a random rare drop as well, which is cool. Right then. Next one. Villager guard. How are you doing, buddy? It's... <gasps> no. Are you kidding me? I didn't know this was in the mod. It's Papa Traorus. This is so cool. Wow, the mod maker. I bow down to you, sir. Thank you so much for putting, tra <laughs> for putting Papa Traorus into a mod. He's so awesome. Will he help me out or will he smack me or what will he do? Let's try him against the zombie villager overlord. Who is this? He's helping me. Papa Traorus, you're so amazing. What's his name? It's just villager zombie. <laughs> this is incredible. I am, oh my God, I'm having the time of my life. He flings him in the air and I need to, oh, he's used that poison attack on me. Go on, Papa Traorus. Kill him. Kill him right now. I did not even know that was in here. That's incredible. <laughs> Look how much damage he did. He's so amazing. What about the Witch King? I need to kind of regen a little bit. Is my poison going to run out soon? I'm, I'm feeling a little bit um sick right now. I actually cannot believe this. This is incredible. <laughs> oh, man. This has actually made my day. And I hope it's made yours as well, guys. It looks... You're just amazing. He's just walking around like he owns a place. Right then, Witch King. Oh, I should not have done that. No, no, no. Papa Traorus. Oh, man, Papa Traorus, are you okay? What are you doing? Oh, Papa Traorus, I hope you're okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. What just happened? What is happening? This Witch King, he's blinding me and killing me. Oh, no. Papa Traorus, are you okay? I'm going to come in and save you in creative mode. <gasps> he is absolutely destroying everything. Papa Traorus is dead. Oh, no. I need to grab a good sword. A good sword. Give me a good sword. <gasps> this is terrible. What is he doing to me? No, you stay away. You are nasty. You are nasty, sir. This is terrible. No, you calm down. You calm down right now. You killed Papa Traorus. I'm not happy about this. I'm not happy about this at all. Where are you going? What are you doing? Are you dead? Are you dead? I hope you're dead. He's spinning around. He's on fire. Oh! Oh, man. Oh, that made me jump so bad, guys. Are you okay? Um, I hope they're okay. It looks like, um, yep, it looks like they're fine. Awesome. Webs everywhere, but absolutely fine. I'm sorry about this, Traoros. So I'll get Papa Traoros to kind of fix it up later. Oh, wow. Well, I wasn't expecting that. He started a forest fire. Oh, man. I want Papa Traoris back. I really do. Here he is. Welcome back, Papa Traoris. You've done absolutely amazingly. And that is pretty much this mod. It's amazing. I absolutely love it. So if you want to check it out and play it for yourself, which I'd highly recommend, then please do go into the description below where you'll find both this mod and also the Bibliocraft mod as well for the e armor stands and all the really cool sword stands as well. Definitely check out this mod. It's amazing. You can have your very own Traorus, which is awesome. So if you did enjoy this video as well, it would be greatly appreciated if you leave a big fat thumbs up. And also, if you happen to be the first video that you've seen by me, then please do subscribe and join Team TDM today for daily Minecraft videos. Traorus, don't escape. Come on. It takes me ages to convince you to go back inside. He wants to see you. You should meet each other. You go meet each other later on, okay? He's right over there. This is, this is a little bit strange, actually. Papa Traorus, we've never met your dad before. This is strange. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy, thumbs up and subscribe would be awesome. And I will see you all next time. Thanks so much for playing some Minecraft with me today. Bye!